Hey guys, for Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. According to Billboard, Beyonce's ex-manager is going after some of her most popular songs. Hypnosis Songs, which was founded by B's former manager, Merck Mercuriades, raised over $260 million of investments in capital with the goal of acquiring the rights to some of her songs as well as other artists. Mercuriades also managed Guns N' Roses, Elton John, and Diane Warren. According to Billboard, his company is looking to gain eight catalogs from well-known songwriters, spanning over 1,000 songs, including more than 10 number ones in the UK and US. Before the fundraiser, a former IPO named Adele, Justin Bieber, and Kanye West as potential musicians to go after. I believe that the song, even more so than the artist, is the most important component in a hit record. I've spent the better part of the last 35 years advocating for great artists, songwriters, and producers, and my ambition is to grow the fund not only to provide great returns for our investors, but equally well in due course to create the leverage that only critical mass can provide to change the songwriter's position in the economic model. Hypnosis isn't the only one trying to bring legality into the music business. This week, a company that owns one-third of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On filed a $100 million lawsuit against Ed Sheeran with an allegation of him stealing the hit for his 2014 song, Thinking Out Loud. Marvin Gaye's estate won a $7.4 million lawsuit against Pharrell Williams and Robin Thicke for Blurred Lines, having a similar sound to Gaye's Gotta Give It Up three years ago. It looks like Beyonce could be next. That's your news for now. For more on this and the rest of today's story, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez.